Sciences at the University of Cape Town and the Agriculture Research and Development Unit at the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and Environment. Currently here behind me you can see the Abalone and Wolver Raceways, uh, an IMTA system that we're currently working closely with. Um, we'll take you through the different species that we're working with and we'll go down and have a closer look at everything uh, in a minute, uh, looking as well as the urchin uh, all the system which we have as well on the farm and the different species. One of the species that we're working on at IMTU ALM in South Africa is the South African Avalam, and the Otis Uh This is one of our success stories in terms of aquaculture in South Africa. It's one of the largest aquaculture subsectors and certainly one of the most valuable. These animals are grown in land-based systems, um, housed in baskets that are suspended in fiberglass uh, raceway tanks. And the species takes approximately four to five years to reach market size. The speciality of this farm is that it, the farm also grows the green seaweed over the sea lettuce. Uh, names are changing with over. This was over rigida, it's now called over lacinulata. And it's grown in these large um, paddle raceways. The over is grown on this farm, Opoyax, mainly to remove the ammonium to allow recirculation of water at 50% recirculation, so it's part of an integrated system. Basicule is an important aspect of any agriculture facility, but it's particularly important when we work in an integrated system like this, where some of the water is recirculated back to the animals on the farm, and some of the co-products, and in this case the older, is fed back to the animals to supplement the feed. So in this project, we're going to be focusing on the microbiome, the different components of the system, to get a better understanding of the bacterial, the fungal, as well as the viral microbiome, the water entering and leaving the system, on all the way in the system, and also on the animals that are being produced within the system. This system, we are assessing the use of feces from the Seochon Paracanus angulosus and the water from the system as a feed or probiotic for juvenile Heliosidae abogone. And in nature, they commonly occur together, and we intend to evaluate the benefits in terms of growth, uh, well being, as well as the microbiome um, of co culturing these animals. Here we are at the sea urchin Uber system, um, basically test piloting a sea urchin IMCA system based off of the Bipoya Abalone and Uber system. You can see we're currently inside a tunnel to maintain the heat. Uh, this is a temperate um, environment where we're growing a tropical sea urchin, as I mentioned, Trubusky's Catilla, and um, currently using the Uber as a biofiltration as well as a feed for the animals. Um, the water is nice and warm at 25 degrees. Uh, this is being maintained, as I mentioned, by the tunnel, but also a heat pump that we're running, and um, we hope to get very good growth rates. So we are using the system to run various trials, such as stocking density trials, feeding regime trials, basket design, and also to um, assess the nutrient output of the sea urchins. And we're going to use all of that to train an interdisciplinary model, which can be used to assess the feasibility and design the sea urchins. 